23rd August Saint Rose of Lima Virgin Optional Memoria Born at Lima in Peru in the year 1586 she advanced in virtue in her daily life at home and after taking the habit of the third order of saint dominic she made great progress in a life of penance and mystical contemplation she died on 24th august in the year 1617 a reading from the writings of saint rose of lima that we may know the love of christ which surpasses knowledge the lord our savior raised his voice and spoke with incomparable majesty let all know he said that after sorrow grace follows let them understand that without the burden of affliction one cannot arrive at the height of glory that the measure of heavenly gifts is increased in proportion to the labors undertaken let them be on their guard against error of deception this is the only ladder by which paradise is reached without the cross there is no road to heaven when i heard these words i felt a great impulse to rush out into the street and shout at the top of my voice to everybody no matter what their age sex or condition listen all you people listen all you nations by christ's command using the very words which he uttered i tell you most solemnly no grace without suffering labor must be heaped upon labor to plumb the depths of the divine nature the glory of the sons of god and the perfect happiness of the soul the same inspiration kept urging me to tell abroad the beauty of divine grace so strong was it that i seemed unable to breathe and it caused me to perspire and pant it appeared as if my soul could not be detained in the prison house of the body but that it must burst its bonds and free and unimpeded rush through the whole world calling out would that mortal men might know how wonderful is divine grace how beautiful how precious what riches are hidden therein what treasures what joys what delights if they but knew surely they would direct their energy with all care and diligence to procuring sufferings and afflictions for themselves instead of good fortune all men everywhere would seek out troubles illness and suffering that they might obtain the inestimable treasure of grace This is the final profit to be gained from patient endurance. No one would complain about the cross or about hardships coming seemingly by chance upon him if he realized in what balance they are weighed before being distributed to men.